Hey guys, Joe Bonamassa here at Guitar World in New York City, and this is my lesson. Well, if you've um, ever started, had to start a slow blues, there's a few ways you can do it, you know. And um, I came up with a way that kind of freaks people out a little bit, and I do a lot of these half bends, so if you have perfect pitch, please be warned, because they're not quite all in pitch. So if you're playing a blues in A, you start on the tonic, but you do like a little half bend. And you go to the five, you know. So it kind of gives you this little rub of the tonic and it gives you this little, like, what is this happening? But it's different. Well, you know, the blues has been around for a, a while and um, there's not a lot, you know, there's, there's some cool tricks in these half bends that, that really, you know, are good for slow blues or any kind of blues. You know, you're gonna... They sound ominous, and I like that because it creates a little bit of tension. You know, when you do play slow blues, I like, I love the buddy guy kind of approach where he purposefully kind of bends a little out of tune, and it just creates a little rub, which I love. You know, so if you're like, you know, just playing an A. <laughs> And it's a cool thing to do, and it and it um, all you have to do is really just kind of you take the tonic on, and then you bend up to the major third, and then go up a half step. So there's a cool little things that you can throw in to make your blues playing and your phrasing, mo mostly phrasing, uh, a little bit more interesting for your audience and your family and your friends.